You're watching ESPN's coverage of the Super One Foods Conference USA Baseball Championship. We're in for a wild night in Ruston, Louisiana, as Liberty and Louisiana Tech fight for a spot in the Conference USA Championship Final. Dallas Baptist has already punched its ticket. Who will join the Patriots? Will it be the Flames or the Bulldogs? They meet at J.C. Love Field in Ruston. Alongside Malcolm Butler, I am merely Chris Mykoski. The Bulldogs forcing this, if necessary, game with a one-run win earlier today. Yeah, we had fireworks early, Chris. We had a three-run home run in the top of the first inning by Noah Rabin. Only his second home run of the year gave the Flames the early 3-0 lead. Tech answered right back. George Corona hits a three-run shot in the bottom half of the inning to tie it 3-3. It got the momentum back at J.C. Love Field for the Bulldog fans. Ethan Bates, he's done a little bit of everything. He doubles down the line to give Tech the lead back. Todd Hudson, he doubles out to deep left center to score to the Flames answer right back. It was back and forth. Grant Como, the freshman for the Bulldogs, he doubles to drive in a run. Louisiana Tech eventually scored the game-winning run. You see it right there on a wild pitch in the eighth to give them an 8-5 lead. They withstood a two-run home run. Ethan Bates records the last out on the ground ball to second bait, his national leading 17th save of the season. This is the third meeting of the championship between the Flames and the Bulldogs. 6-2 win for Liberty in the second round, and then it's the Bulldogs winning 8-7 earlier today to force this one. Connor Nation, another hero for Louisiana Tech, going four innings in relief. It's the Bulldogs and the Flames, a spot in the championship final on the line. Lineups and first pitch next on ESPN+. Plus. No one pitch coming to Cam Foster. Troyer heading down to second, and here comes Rabin home. The throw gets him. Liberty gets Rabin all the way around to third with nobody out, and they'll have nothing to show for it. That is hyper, hyper aggressive right there, especially with nobody out in the inning. The first out made at the plate as Ballard comes up throwing to Corona. The perfect strike. Like you mentioned, Chris, it wasn't, uh, he was falling away. Simmons first pitch swinging to deep right center. It is into the kennel. Liberty takes a two to nothing lead in the top of the second as they hope to steal a bid into an NCAA regional. John Simmons with his sixth home run of the year, RBI 20 and 21, and he just picked up his teammates right there with that two-run blast. The Flames needing a win today and tomorrow to advance into the NCAA postseason. In the second, he's ahead of the count, 2-0. He lines that one, and that'll drive in a run. And, and it gets past Safford out in right center, and so Troyer will coast into second. It'll be an RBI, and the Flames now lead 3-0. There's a line drive, and that's going to get out into left field. That'll be an RBI single. And it's now 4-0. Well, that was just kind of a cue shot off the end of the bat. And Fur tried to chase it down just out of his reach. And so a two-out single. And Simmons continues to drive in runs with two outs in this ball game. That's now his third RBI, all of them coming with two outs. And it's 4-0 Flames. Swings and lines that one deep down the left field line, and it's gone. Well, on cue, Dalton Davis with his 15th home run of the season. A line drive solo shot over the left field wall, and he's given the fans of J.C. Love Field what they were looking for, something to cheer about. Last night against Sam Houston State, Unleashed a two-run homer in the third, a solo shot in the seventh. Here in the bottom of the fifth against Liberty. Comes up with a homer to begin the frame. Three and two. Men on second and third to Myers. 
Left side of the infield, backhanded by Marsh to third to get Ballard. Bates comes home to score. Bulldogs now within two, and there are two outs. Yeah, probably a bit of a base running mistake there by Ballard. Is has hit to the shortstop. Going from second to third on that situation. I'm not sure if Marsh has a play over at first base that deep in the hole on AD. And so if Ballard stays put at second, the run scores. No out is recorded. And you have runners at first and second and only one out. Three balls, no strikes. Swinging on 3-0 count. Foster grounds into a double play, but it does add a run for the Flames as Rabin comes home. McConnell's second best in the conference and runs batted in, trailing only his teammate, Ethan Bates. Into right, McConnell delivering an RBI single. And the runners will be on the corners again for the Bulldogs after they plate one and pull within two. McConnell with his third hit of the ball game, all of them singles. This one to right field. There's RBI number 69 on the year, and that'll bring up Ethan Bates. It doesn't get any easier. 2-2 offering, Corona into right. It will fall there. Davis scores, McConnell sent home. This game is tied. McConnell just ran through the stop sign at third base that Lane Burroughs threw up. It's a bang-bang play. They're going to look at it. I thought on first view he got the hand in there, but we'll see it again right here. Corona hitting the chalk. Camden Troyer tracks it down, brings it home. And McConnell able to slide around the tag, immediately die, calling for the review. And we'll see if we can got another angle here. Obviously, on that angle, you can't see where the plate is and where the hand is. There it was right there. If we could do it again and slow it down, back it up. Here we go, Chris. This should be our best look at it. Watch that left hand of McConnell. He's it safe. gets in there before the tag is made. Two balls and two strikes. Middle infield, potential double play ball for Tech. They turn it. The bases loaded with nobody out. And the Bulldogs emerge unscathed. Paxton Birch at second. A Darius Myers at first, but he is inconsequential. Louisiana Tech just needing a single run to move in to Sunday's final. One, two, pitch through the middle. Faxton Burtz being sent home. Here he comes. Tech is in to the championship final. It'll be the Bulldogs and the Patriots playing for an automatic berth into the NCAA tournament. Well, you're seeing a dog pile by the dogs out there a red shirt freshman grant como comes through in the clutch and the pinch runner thaxton birch scores easily from second base love shack magic is alive it's real chris mykoski and louisiana tech for the second time in three years check that the third time in four years have fought their way through the losers bracket to play in the conference usa championship game and that is how the bracket shakes out it'll be dallas baptist the two seed and louisiana tech the one seed the regular season conference champions They'll meet with an automatic bid into the NCAA tournaments on the line.